When it comes to practice, consistency is the most important thing. Showing up day after day, week after week, month after month, that's what helps you become the dancer you want to be. But even if you manage to establish a steady practice habit, you're going to have some ups and downs. Big life events like an illness in the family or moving, simple changes to your routine that make it harder to show up, or just being distracted by other obligations and other interests. And the thing is, is that missing a day or two here and there isn't going to kill you and it isn't going to threaten your habit. But when that day turns into two, and then a week goes by, and then a month, that's a different situation. You've fallen off the practice wagon. And this has happened to me. I have a pretty solid practice habit, but I also have a part-time day job doing custom software. And a while back, I had to take a professional exam on a pretty tight deadline. And so I was studying in every free minute. I was staying up late, and then I either slept in or spent my morning studying, which really ate into my practice time. I figured I would jump right back in, but then the day after the exam, I thought I would reward myself with another day off. But it didn't just end up being one day, and the amount of time that I missed was embarrassing. So what can you do when you really fall off the wagon? Well, there were four things that helped me get back on track and that I recommend to my coaching clients as well. First, double down on your commitment to show up. Move heaven and earth to make it happen. But keep that practice really short. If you listen to the practice tantrum episode, you're familiar with the hilarious minimum. So for example, you might decide that for the next two weeks, you're going to practice every single day, no matter what, but only for the length of one song. My second recommendation is to consider adding some form of accountability. Track whether you practiced or not every single day. You might mark that down in a calendar, in a journal, use a phone app. I use one called Way of Life. Or you might partner with a friend and check in with them every day. If you feel like you need a big carrot and stick, you might consider a public practice challenge where you post whether or not you practiced every day on Facebook or Twitter or your blog. Third, shake it up. Boredom is the kiss of death. But if you choose some fresh content to practice, that can make you more excited to show up in the first place. And that excitement can be enough to get you over the hump until be practice becomes a regular part of your routine again. And fourth, play, don't work. Instead of focusing on what you need to fix in your dance or what you feel like you should be doing, just do whatever you would enjoy the most. A healthy practice should always balance having fun and making progress. But for now, don't even try to make progress. Your only job right now is to reestablish the habit of showing up. And focusing on enjoying your practice makes showing up that much easier. So no matter how long it's been since you practiced, don't beat yourself up about it. No shame, no blame. Tomorrow is a new day, and it's never too late to get back on the wagon.